So Zuli, that's for you. Yeah. And after can dunk. Shah still macht nicht kein Gerieber, der Rebe geht schön tanzen wie jeder Schach. Still macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe geht schön tanzen Ball. Und als der Rebe tanzt, tanzen doch die Wend. Lo mir alle Piasken mit die Hände. Schach still. Macht nicht kein Gerieder, der Rebe geht schon tanzen wie jeder Schach. Still, macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe geht schon tanzen bald. Und als der Rebe tanzt, tanzt doch mit der Tisch. Lo mir alle, tupfen mit die Fie, jede Schach. Still, macht nicht kein Gerieder, der Rebe geht schon tanzen, tanzen wie der Schach. Still, macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe geht schon tanzen bald. Und als der Rebe singt dem Heiligen Nigen, bleibt der Sotten na Teufel liegen liegen. Schach, still, macht nicht kein Gerieder, der Rebe geht schon tanzen, tanzen, tanzen wie der Schach. Still, macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe geht schon tanzen bald. Okay, sorry guys, I think I was a little bit out of sync here with the with moving the slides. I promise next time I'll do it better. I just, I don't know. Didn't start at the time. Okay, let's start and read the, the English thing. Bonnie, can you start reading the English? Uh, here, I'll put munching on a biscotti, so excuse the uh, munching. Um, okay. Theodore Bacall sang Sha Still on the 1958 album, Theodore Bacall Sings Jewish Folk Songs. There may have been an earlier folk version of the song, but the version that uh, Bacall sings was composed by Pincus Jasanowski, who was born in 1886 in Romana Romanovka. Uh, near Kiev. Jasanowski was first a choir boy. Then he studied at the conservatory in St. Petersburg. He left Russia in 1915 for Finland, sang all over Scandinavia, then moved to the U.S. He worked as a choir master in Chazen and gave public recitals and lectures, including at Carnegie Hall. And, uh, by the way, I just wanted to just mention about Finland. Because every once in a while we hear about Jews in Finland, so I don't know if maybe somebody can talk about that a little bit and how how folks went to uh, how and why folks went to Finland. Um, I... Okay, we have to find we have to do some a little bit of research and find it. Okay. About... Okay, and I will look into it. Maybe I find some story that connects us to Finland. Yes, I for this should have some Finnish people in it. Back in 1975, I was in Helsinki and I went to the synagogue there and took a tour. And they said that many of the Jewish people uh, who ended up in Finland were Kantonisten. And at the end of their 25 years of service, they were allowed of the Tsar's army, they were allowed to settle wherever they were. And if they ended up in Finland, uh, they stayed there sometimes. Same thing with uh, in Tbilisi and Tiflis. Um, yeah. Many of the uh, Ashkenazim there were from the Tsar's army and they ended up just staying there. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, for, thanks, for the, thanks for the clarification. So maybe I'll find a story. I'll try. Okay. okay. Marie, please. Yeah, so this is interesting because it's one of the few songs I know from childhood and I had it memorized completely and I discovered that a number of the things I was saying was not correct. So I'm <laughs> going to try and do it correctly now. <laughs> okay. Sha, still, magnet can get it at the big age joint dancing video. Sha, still, magnet can give out the big gate joint dancing vault. 
Und als der Rebbe tanzt, tanzen durch die Wind, lo mir alle Pletschken, Pletschken mit die Hand. Okay, and it means, hush, quiet, don't make a commotion. The Rebbe will dance again. Hush, quiet, don't shout. The Rebbe will dance soon. And when the Rebbe dances, the walls also are dancing, which uh, I now find out all, actually more literally means the walls were vibrating, but I like both of those. And then let's clap our hands. And Pietschkin is actually Russian. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. So Bravo. Bravo. Me memorizing it in my head correctly. <laughs> I'm working okay. on it. Oh, Marie. Bravo. <laughs> okay. Great. Henrietta, can you continue? Me. Hello. Hi, Henrietta. You muted. Okay, now good. Can you read? Yeah. Da still. Mach nicht kein Gerede. Der Rebbe geht schon tanzen wieder. Da still. Mach nicht kein Gewalt. Der Rebbe geht schon tanzen bald. Und als der Rebbe tanzt, tanzt er doch mit dem Tisch. Lammer alle tappen mit dem Fies. Good. Can you translate? So the only difference, you want me to read the whole thing? <laughs> Just still, don't make any noise. The rabbi is going to dance again. Just still, don't make any cry, any... Gavald is a turmoil. The rabbi, gate, they, the rabbi is now going to dance. And as the rabbi dances... Dance on the table, and all of you should tap your feet. Good, thanks, Bob. I know you didn't prepare, but maybe you can read it. Ja, still, mach nicht kein Geruden. The Rebbe gain the Rebbe gate showing. Tanzen wie uh, wieder. Scha still macht nicht macht nicht kein um, Gewalt. Der Rebbe gehen schon tanzen bald. Und als der Rebbe um, uh, singt, der singt den uh, heiligen um, Lagoon, um, bleiben bleibt der bleibt der stehen. Schotten, Schotten, uh, Schotten, uh, Schotten, uh, to, uh, to, uh, liegen. Okay, so yeah. basically you can translate yeah. only the last two. Okay, the rabbi um is gonna get um the dance soon, and uh, when um and when the rabbi sings his um holy uh, nigun um. We like we um the Stutten stays um uh toite ligen late um toite toite boss Sutton is the devil oh the the devil oh the devil lies uh, lies dead lies dead oh yeah Stutten <laughs> okay anyone wants to add anything. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, can uh, I ask? Elaine? I'm sorry. Can I ask a question? Um, yeah. A toy der ligen is that an idiom? You know, I, I mean, technically it means a dead thing lying down, but is that like a toy? Is that an idiom for? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not. It just looked to me like an idiom. I, I don't know it as an idiom. Maybe someone else. Yeah, I see the poem. Yeah, I would say it's bleibt liegen. Uh, he remains lying. A toite, a dead person. So it's not necessarily an idiom. It's just a strange grammatical order in order to get liegen to rhyme with nigen. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> so you you no, would just say, yeah. uh, you know, he's he's just Satan remains lying dead. Yeah, bleib der Satan liegen a And yeah. you could say liegen dick, but also you often see instead of a, a gerund, you'll see an infinitive. Okay. Thanks. And Bob, you wanted to add anything? Yeah, yeah I uh, just commenting uh, more current um, more current information on Helsinki. I believe I, I stayed maybe in the same hotel that uh, uh, because the synagogue was within 10 yards of the hotel we were staying at. And it was very, and this is five years ago, and it was very much protected all around, uh, very difficult to get even near it. And uh, there were gates that were locked. Yet on Shabbos, Saturday morning, I happened just to be walking around town and I saw um, some people going to the synagogue and they said there was a, still a large community and uh, felt very safe there. So that's from four or five years ago. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mariv. Oh gosh, Mariv. So toit toit toiter. Um, I know there's several words for to say some something or someone is dead in Yiddish, and it's about respect, right? You say you have a different word for a rabbi or a, a holy person who has died than for an animal. So which one is toiter? Are they making fun here? No, no, no. The other, one is, the other one is Pygern. Pygern is for an animal. Pygern is for an animal. So this is a respectful way to say that he yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. There's also Nifter geboren. Yes, yes, right. Zuli? What is Schotten? Schotten. Say The devil. The devil. The devil, all right. Yes. It's Satan. Satan. Satan, all right. But no, in Yiddish, it's Satan. No, I know that, but that's what we that's what we would translate it at is if we didn't yes. use devil, we would use Satan. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, Elaine, go oh, on. Oh. Can you read it, Elaine? Uh hold on. It's yeah. The... yeah. Uh Shah still, Machnit Kain Geri Geri Guru the Rebbe Gate showing Tansen Vider. Shashtil machnit kein gewald, der Rebbe geht schön tanzen bald. Shashtil machnit kein gewald, der Rebbe, and then it ends. Um, and it's the same translation. Um, and I wanted to ask, I I knew a verse that was like, Un az der Rebbe tanz, az der Rebbe tanzen alle chassidim. That's another song. It's another song. It's a different song. Yeah. Oh, I no, no, I think it's the line. same. I don't think so. I think you're right, Elaine. It's the same song. I think it's the same song. When does the Rebbe get? When does the Rebbe tans? Does the Rebbe tans? Tans in all of us. Shash, so you're right. It's just another version. Good day. You're right, Elaine. Totally good. Good, good, day. good day. Dave sang. Anyway, we went to Finland and we went to the old age home where we spoke Yiddish to the people, the Jewish old age home at the time. So there is a Jewish community. Zuli, yeah, I see you raise your hand. Oh, I have also gesucht, as the Rebbe tanz, schocken sich the wand. That's the, the other version. That the mm. walls tremble, shaking. Schocken sich the wand. Well, it's probably another version, yeah. Okay, can I, I have a question about the, the one with um, the Tish. Okay. Uh, where he, the, yeah. As the Rebbe tanzt, tanzt doch mit der Tish. Uh -huh. Does that literally mean the table or does it mean the Hasidim sitting around the table? Like when you say, is that, that's what it means. Okay. 
Maurice, can you talk about it? Maurice. Where is Maurice? Okay, so Morty, can you talk about it a bit? Uh, well. About what is a tish? <laughs> yes. Well, the, the tish is uh, the table where the Hasidim sit around the rabbi and uh, after uh, after uh, Avdallah, or, or before Avdallah, rather, on the uh, third meal of the Shabbos, they they eat what is left from the rabbi in in, in as a sense of uh, something miraculous that the rabbi has done and and will bring them uh, good tidings, good luck. Uh, that is that is the meaning of the tish when it refers to the to the Hasidic rabbis or rabbis, really. Uh, oh. I have seen. Not not physically. I I've seen uh, pictures or 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 movies where in some functions, especially uh, very very happy functions, the the rebbe will dance will dance on top of a table. But uh, in this case, I believe it it refers to the to the tishas as the Hasidim around the table with the rabbi for for the shalishides. For the third meal of the Shabbat, and uh, I, I wanted also to to mention two things. Uh, probably everybody knows, but since the, the the this the reading was a little bit, uh, there is a difference between a Rebbe and the Rabbi, and in this case, even though the writing is a uh, Resh Bet Yud, it's not Rabbi; it's Rebbe, referring to a to a Hasidic Rebbe. And also, finally, in Jewish tradition, the Satan is really not the devil, which uh, which doesn't really match Jewish tradition. Satan is the prosecutor who stands in front of God when when the okay. soul comes up to heaven and uh, counters the defense of the soul. Uh, whether it should go stay in heaven or 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 not enter into heaven. That's what I wanted to mention. Okay, thank you, Morty. Uh, Rochelle, just one moment. Maurice, if you there is a song by Mike Borsch, by Mike Burstein, and it's called uh, the Rabbi Twist. And it's kind of, you know, uh, poking a little fun on these dances. So maybe I'll find it and I'll send to you. I, I'm not sure it's fit for everyone, but you know, it's folks fun at those, the tishes and the Rebbe is dancing. Is is so, it called the Rebbe, Rebbe Ali Mayweather? No, 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 no. Oh, no. oh okay. No, no. It's uh, something with the twist, the Rebbe is doing the twist of something, yeah. Okay, yeah. Rochelle? Yeah, that's basically what I was going to say is that this is a tongue in cheek. It is making fun uh, of of this uh, community um, and how seriously they take themselves. Um, so, I, I I think it has a a comic aspect to it. I don't think it's meant to be a Hasidic. I don't think it's a Hasidic song. It was written outside of the Hasidic community. Okay, thank you. Uh, if anyone wants to add anything or before we listen to it once again, uh, yeah, I see the point. Yeah, just one final. Uh, I, I agree that it's this is an anti-Hasidic song, but the, the page you just had before, Tanstach mit der Tisch, just grammatically, I want to point out that it's that uh, it's the verb is mit tanzen, and the subject is der Tisch, um, right there, the second line to the bottom there, that the table is dancing along. Um, otherwise, it would be mit dem tisch. So it's tanz doch mit der tisch. The table also dances. Now, what the tisch means here can either be physical or metaphorical, and it's not clear. Yeah. Okay. So let's listen to it once again. Let's, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. Schach, still, 
macht nicht kein Gerieber, der Rebe geht schön tanzen wie jeder Schach still. Macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe geht schön tanzen bald. Und als der Rebe tanzt, tanzen doch die Wände, lo mir alle Fiaske mit die Hände. Schach still. Macht nicht kein Gerieber, der Rebe geht schön tanzen wie jeder Schach still. Macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe geht schön tanzen bald. Und als der Rebe tanzt, tanzt doch mit der Tisch. Lo mir alle Tupfen mit die Fie, je, je, Schach. Still. Macht nicht kein Gerieber, der Rebe geht schön tanzen, tanzen wie der Schach. Still. Macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe geht schön tanzen bald. Und als der Rebe singt dem Heiligen nicht. Bleib der Sotten, na Teufel, liege jeden Schach. Still. Macht nicht kein Gerieder, der Rebe geht schön tanzen, tanzen, tanzen wie der Schach. Still. Macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe geht schön tanzen, bald. Schach. Still. Macht nicht kein Gewalt, der Rebe. Okay, I see that Bob Bob raised his hand. At, 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 at the risk of stating the obvious, the tune we hear Yismechu, no? Yismechu from the the Hebrew uh, the Shabbos, no? No, no, it's no, it's it's a bit different. Well, as, really, I, remember, a bit as different. I remember it, it's a little different. Yismechu. That's what <laughs> that's what I remember from you know my childhood. So. I think he's thinking of a different yes. yes. I think yes. he's thinking of closer to that a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's another. That's what I'm thinking. It's a different. It's a <laughs> different you. tune for Shabbos too. Yeah. yeah. Thank okay. You. <laughs> okay, we can turn it into a choir. You say choir. Choir. Yeah. Okay, choir. So yeah. <laughs> okay, I see you. Okay. I have a fast question. I was blacked out immediately. My whole thing turned black. Did anyone else get lost? Mm -hmm. I had to start my whole thing all over again. I couldn't get in. I had to go to last week's invitation, and now I just came back in. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I couldn't get an arrow to come back in, no matter what. Sorry, that's some glitch on your, glitch on your like... computer, or maybe. Okay, all right. Okay, so, thanks. Rachel, you want to say something? Yeah, it's, it's kind of off the topic, but the, the melody you just sang reminded me of a ditty that my mother used to sing to me. And it, it's kind of a ring around the rosy kind of thing. Der alte Beye schlof geschmack, der alte Beye schlof geschmack, mir will in nicht euch weg, in der wird sich noch der Schreck, in der alte Beye schlof geschmack. So there was a child in the middle holding their eyes, and then they'd go hide, like, you know, it was one of these little childhood things. But that melody reminded me of that. Never okay, no, that's, that's a melody. I grew up in a, in a place that was, you know, people from all over the world. And there were a lot of, uh, I won't say Hasidic, but they were, they were believers. And we had five synagogues near my house. <laughs> and... A shchite, a shchite hoes. And so even if though we were very secular and didn't go to synagogue, we just heard them. We heard all those, you know, all those songs in an Ashkenazi way, in a Sephardi way, and in two different Yemeni ways. Wow. Because they were Yemeni from Sana and Yemeni from Aden, and they didn't speak with each other, <laughs> so they had another two different synagogues and two different versions of singing and praying. So that's what I remember from, from childhood. So anyone else want to share anything before we move to our Shun story? Yeah, Anne. 
and Riva, but you are muted. I know, but I sat here and my childhood came back. I can't remember what I was supposed to do an hour, hour ago, but I was singing along with it. And I thought I could even read the Yiddish because when the repetition came up, my eyes were following the words. That's yeah. amazing, everybody. I'm, I'm so glad for you. I saw from you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My Thank God, you. I didn't know how much it did stay with me as a child because you only went to Zadie's really for every holiday and weekend and Sundays I would go shopping down the road from where Beverly was though we never knew each other so thank you thank you thank you you're most welcome yeah okay let's let's continue with our Shun story and So if you rem just to remind you, a woman that is kind of uh, late middle age and she's, you know, how do you say it? I won't say painted, it's kind of, you know, she's, guys help me out. Made up. <laughs> Made up. Well, yeah. well made up. But made up well, to well look made younger. Up, yeah. Made up to look younger is a line so from made the. Made up uh... to look younger. Yeah, sometimes I cannot translate. I think in Hebrew, sometimes I cannot translate immediately. And she's accusing her lover of, uh, of scamming her, of taking. Uh, he promised her that she will give him money and he will make a profit out of it, and there was nothing. And the, the lover already, he testified, and he said that she gave the money without any conditions, and he's kind of poking fun at her and their age, and, and then she gets up to testify. So let's see which place we were. So we were, I think, oh, if a second, here, oh, if a second, that's where we stop, where she's getting up to testify. Okay. So, Morty, can you start reading it? Can you make it larger? Oh, yeah, sure. That's okay? Guys, that's okay? Larger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If so you Morty, move your finger, if you take yes, your two yes. fingers, you can I make know, it larger uh, yourself. I know. Yeah, yeah. I no, know. No, I'm telling talk. everyone else. I'm telling everyone else. Uh, uh, okay. Only if you have a touch screen, Beverly. If not, yeah, you go to view, it, just it, go to all... view options and see zoom ratio. Click down on zoom options, you see zoom ratio, and you can change the uh to whatever you like. Yeah, but I enlarged it. I have a touch screen, so I enlarged it, hopefully. On the Apple, you can do it on the touchpad. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Morty, please. Yeah. Oh, if a second, hom ihre Eugen war gegen der ungeklogenen Blick in, in der selbe Regel hat sich ihr ge, uh, genetzt Gen Genetzer. Ganzer. Ganzer. Gene ihr Genetzer Kerper, die gebeten. It's not Ganzer, Morty. A, a Ganzer. Ah, ja, yeah. Ganzer. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Kerper ihr gebeten. Auf einmal haben sich heraus gesehen ihre richtige Juren. Schreiendig ist geworden die Farbe Oif ihr punem, sie ist geworden alt. Oh. Unloschen haben sich ihre... Ah, ah das ein... ist translated, Mo Mo oh, please. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, her eyes uh, uh, went away. The, the, uh, oh, multi, no, multi, 
no, 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 not went away. But it, the, it, the, her eyes saw uh, their uh, their accused uh, sight, uh, and in the it's same just a moment, Morty. In, it's more yeah. like her, her eyes. Uh, they made eye contact. I, they yes. made eye contact. Yeah. Yes, made eye contact with the accused man, and in the same moment, uh, her whole uh, body changed. In at the, at one time, at the same time, uh, you could see her right, her correct years screaming became uh I'm sorry you said her correct what yes age yes age age, age. age. Yeah. suddenly of ein mole is kind is here suddenly suddenly you can see her right her a, a correct right age. age her real age real age yeah uh screaming uh is given the farb of your opponent uh I I I the I color, the word, the, like the, the, makeup, the, the, the makeup. makeup, yeah, the makeup in her face when he's when she screamed, mm -hmm. the makeup no Monty, what's going on? The makeup on the first it became shrandic, it became loud, oh. it became like a loud a noticeable. Noticeable no. loud. Yeah. It wasn't I, so yeah, I, I understand what you say. Sorry, I, I never yeah. I never saw it. On the obvious. Yeah. It became obvious. She, yeah, she became old. Unluschen haben sich ihre eingefallene Lippen geweckt. Es ist ihr schwer gewesen zu reden. Without words, her lips fell down. Uh, it became hard for her to to speak. Fest haben sich ihre Nägel reingedrückt in Hals, fin Stuhl. Ihr ganze Körper hat sich getreißelt. Uh, very strongly, her nails uh, got into the wood of this of the stool where she was sitting, her whole body uh, became stiff. Der zählt für einen schrecklichen innerlichen Kampf. Uh, telling of a very strong uh, fight inside her. Schwach is gekommen ihr Stimme. Her voice became very soft. As if it was coming from very far away. I will tell the truth. In those small, haben sich ihre Nägel tief hereingefest in der weiße Fleisch von ihr Hand. And at this time, her, her nails got tief into the white her the white flesh of her hands. Entschlossen hat sie sich ausgezeugen, als soll wie sie wohl gewähnt mit in in a gebrochener Stimme der Zelt. Uh, can you go up a minute? Yes, yes. Thank so, you. Entschlossen hat sie sich. Ja, entschlossen. Äh, entsch closed. In, äh, I think it's, it's not finally here. Finally. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, it's finally decisive, she, decisively. She got, decisively. Uh, decisively. Decisively. Thank you. Thank you, Rafael. Uh, decisively, she straightened up. Uh, as if she would become very tired. And in a broken voice, she started telling. Okay, thank you, Morty. Thank it's you. a lot of war that usually we don't encounter 
like things concerning makeup and dressing and things that Shaolem Aleichem or Mendele did not really, <laughs> did not really know about. <laughs> yeah, know about or wrote about. I think even Zinger did not read about, but you know, we are learning new words and new... Yes, we are all learning. <laughs> we are new things, yeah. Okay, it took me about, I read it twice in order to get the gist of it. So, Rafael, will you continue? When I bin nor given, nor kaum alt given, senior, when I was barely 17 years old, I got married for money. Menschen von unser Kreis müssen haben Geld. People of our community have to have money. As man hat allein nicht, verkauft man sich. And if you don't have it, you sell yourself. My mother is given an Almona. My mother was a widow. When sie hat mich erzeugen, we would say der Zeugen, wie es passt für ein Mädel, was wird heiraten, mit der reichen Mann. And she raised me as is appropriate for a girl who will get married to a rich man. That heiraten, of course, is kind of German. Ich habe gehabt Geld, aber mein Leben ist given uh, miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I did have money, but my life was miserable. Miserable. <laughs> Full mit Leiden. On a strahl von Liebe, other glick, full of pain without a beam, a sunbeam of love or happiness. On ihre Eugen haben mit Gebet gekocht auf ihre Kinder. And her eyes uh, turned with, um, in a begging way, looked at her children. Mit mir hat passiert die gewöhnliche Geschichte von a Frau. Was liebnet ihr Mann? With me, uh, uh, there happened the usual kiss, the usual story of a woman who doesn't love her husband. Ich hab gesucht Liebe. I was searching for love. Wenn ich hab sich mit ihm verkennt, hab ich a lange Zeit mit sich gekämpft. When I finally found him, when I uh, became acquainted with him, and that's in italics, um, then for a long time, I struggled with myself. Endlich bin ich geworden sein Geliebter. Finally, I became his lover. Okay, thank you, Rafael. Okay, it's a lot. We talked about it last time. With a lot of uh, Germanic, a lot of German words, and a lot of the Deutschmerisch, and a lot of also English words that are here. Okay, and Naomi, can you read? Sure, sure. Can I just say something? The sentence yes, of, about about the guilt, Ichob Gehat Gelt, it's I find the sentence order is very much like English, but I think Yiddish, I I, I mean I, I know she learned Yiddish, it wasn't her first language, but in Yiddish, wouldn't it be Gelt Hobich Gehat? Like the word order. I'm just finding the word order is very much like English. I agree. Um, the way she writes. It's not y Yiddish lach if in the sense of the of the word order. But yeah. But it, it's a little bit easier for me to understand, except for the German. Oh my god. Well, the German. Yeah. Okay. But I'll try. Um then my man is gestorben von an automobil. Un unglück or un unglück habe ich ihm etliche Monaten später gebeten, er soll mit mir heiraten. Okay, when my husband died uh, from an automobile accident. Um, of course, he couldn't uh, move, crank or anything else. It has to be, you know, it has to be to the extreme. Um, <laughs> I, 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 um, just a minute. Uh, I, I asked him or I pleaded with him a few months. Um, oh, a few months later. I also meet Mir. Oh, that, that he should or he, he, that he will, um, 
He should marry me. He, that he should marry me, right. Erzol, he should marry me. My leaven is given a schrecklicher liegen. Oh, my life was a terrible lie, right? A lie. Um, <laughs> es hat mich nicht geart, was ich nar mein Mann, er, okay, er hat mich ob, obgenart, etliche Tag noch unser Hassene. Okay. It, it didn't it didn't bother me no it yes. didn't yes, it didn't yes. bother me okay um um that i that i fooled my my husband um uh, or i tricked him or something er no, it, it, oh, it, it means that she 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 went with another guy so that she oh was it not my man so oh is that what it means unfaithful I, oh unfaithful I didn't know nar means unfaithful. That's no, but word. in this instance, it does. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just writing it in on a little piece of paper. Okay. Um, er hat mich ob, oh, uh, okay. He, um, he, uh, uh, he, he was unfaithful. Me. I'm unfaithful. Okay. Uh, a few days um, after our wedding. Es hat mich uh, gen, geart for meine Kinder, for se hob ich more gehat. Um, geart. It, 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 it bothered me for my children. For se and I, I, I was fearful for them. Or, right? I was scared yes, for them? Yes. Okay. I, yeah, I, I felt that she didn't want her children to know that she is unfaithful. Ihre Eugen haben gesucht die Eugen von ihrer Tochter. So her eyes um, uh, searched for the eyes of her uh, uh, daughters. Aber sie haben auf ihr nicht gekommen. Oh, but they didn't look, but they didn't, but they didn't, uh, but they weren't look, looking at her. Yeah. Um, they, they, I guess they, they averted their eyes or something. Er hat uh, geantwortet, um, Ich bin zu alt, hagam ich bin bloß mit drei Jahren älter von ihm. Um, uh, he, er hat geantwortet. He, he answered or something? Yes, uh, he answered. Or he, or he yeah. replied, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm too old and also, um, oh, I'm not I, also, not, oh. not also, even okay. though, even oh, though. Ha, oh, hagam is e even though? Okay. Yes, even though. Okay, so even though um, I'm I'm merely or just three years older older than him, aber mein Geld hat er von mir doch ausgegart. Oh, ausgenart. Okay, but but my money, um, he oh he he uh, he. I don't know. He he wasn't honest or no, something. He cheated he, out of me. Oh, 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 there's another word. Oiskinart is to cheat. Okay. Yeah, so he cheated out of He the tricked money. me out of it. He tricked me oh, out of it. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Like okay. we were talking about Yeah. Is that, is, that, is that the same thing? Opgenart yeah. and Oiskinart? Oh, maybe Ois is like completely uh, uh, cheated me. Like Okay. That was, so a, that was, yeah. No, I, I think, think here it means he to... took from. He okay. took from me. Oh, he took it out of me. Yeah. Okay, Susan, you wanted to say something? Well, he, 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 he tricked me out of my money. Yeah. Oh, this is out. Yeah. 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 To trick out. Elaine, yes? Yeah. Um, it, it, a nar like nar and narisha is means fool. Yes. So, so wouldn't it be like he fooled me? I mean, we yeah, use trick, but it's he fool. So it's the same word, except it's different, the same root. It's different the same ways, root. Of, but different ways of saying he fooled me. He fooled me. Yeah. He tricked me. He cheated me. He, yes. He, you know, whatever. Cheated on me. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. There, well, how many more words there are in English than in Yiddish? Like. Three or four or five times as many ways to say things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. After listening listening to Bishevis's uh, uh, um, 
uh, Nobel's acceptance speech. Yeah. I yeah. think there are way more ways to say <laughs> everything in Yiddish. Certain the, the things like the emotions and sadness and <laughs> the difference is phraseology, not 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 words. There are many, many more words in English than there are in Yiddish, as far as I know. But that it's used in a very, you know, that that the phraseology of the language is very colorful. So there seems to be a lot more ways of saying things, but not more words to say them. That's yes, that's I did that not was realize very, that. I did that not was realize very that. well put. <laughs> we were always in a rush. We had a rush to get somewhere else, so we couldn't, uh, you know, spend the time. We were always being chased somewhere. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think, say one yeah. thing. A blaze, the word blaze to me means uh, yes. uh, been blaze only. Somebody gave it another meaning when they were yes. speaking it. Have ich bin blaze, bin blaze mit. Yeah, what did they say? Blaze. Only. She, she oh. said just. Only. Yeah, she just. said just. Just or only. only. Right, right. Okay. It okay. depends on the context. How, how serious this is or not serious also okay. has a connotation in the words that are used. Orpgenart is not very serious. He fooled me now. Sorry, what's the difference okay, let's between finish, let's finish what, this Steve? I just uh, I can I just want to know what's the difference between Opnalen and Ois Oisnalen. Does anyone know? I can try to answer that. Um Upnaran is, is to to fool, uh to uh, to have finished fooling. The up actually makes it perfective. Oisnaran is to fool someone out of something, to mm -hmm. to extract money. To extract a promise, that would be oisnaren. Okay, thank, thank you. Okay, Steve, go and finish the story for us. Do I have to finish the story. Okay. You um, don't have. You can. <laughs> can and ever. When the when the du jury, jury. Oh, when the jury hot hot ahim um er erkle hart. Uh, for far schuldig hot the mit uh langsam langsame yes uh, m m these are difficult words um ma marit von treat treat it's a t oh treat treat from an alter freu ange sport uh oif uh a he a a a I, 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 ignore the yeah, haze. Yeah. The haze are just for a German sort of I, I, spell. Just I, I, ignore I, I, the haze. Right, right. Ihre Kinder verlosen dem uh, uh, Kurt. Again, uh, that's uh, 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 no Kurt, English. Kurt. Kurt Zoll. Kurt Zoll. Okay. Uh, when the jury. Um, uh, uh, um, Declared. Declare Hi. right. Uh, 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 um, far uh, the the just the the justice the the guilt. No. No. Is, uh, that is uh, okay. no. guilty. the guilty. 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 That when the jury declared him guilty, uh, she with um. Uh, 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 I, I have no idea what long slow was, steps, slow steps, oh, langsam tritt. With slow steps, uh, from uh, um, from like an old woman, yes. um, on uh, um, left uh, out um, uh, no. left with her children. Uh, left without. No, her she children. was leaning. She was leaning on her children. Oh, she was oh. leaning on the children. Okay. Um, um this is this is too difficult for me. I'm gonna to take too long to okay. To so this. just read it and we will okay. Ira okay. Eugen, just read it. Ira Eugen, uh welche seinen 
Gavin Reut von Vinchen, her eyes were red from frying. Vainen. Vainen. Her eyes were red from frying. Hobben mit Mitleid gekuckt auf ihm. So her eyes were red from crying and uh, with um, Mitleid um, with sympathy, sympathy uh, she looked at him. I don't think it's sympathy. No. Mitleid is pity, no? Guys. But what did you well, say? would be suffering, wouldn't it? Mitleid is suffering. Mitleid is empathy. Empathy. Oh. Okay, so, so let's do it from the beginning. When the jury of him declared for Shuldi, when the jury declared, declared him guilty, or the mit langsame treat from an alter Freud, the with slow, with small uh, steps of an old, of an old woman, on gespart of her kinder, she was leaning on her, child, on her children, verlosen dem court Rosal. So she left the court. Ihre Augen, ihr er Eis, welche seinen Gewein rot von Weinen, which were red from uh, crying, oben mit Mitleid geguckt auf ihn. Looked at him with empathy. I have a question. Yes, yeah, sure. Rochelle. Okay. Unspar um, unsparen, the word for stubborn. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 no. I know, I, I know it, that's not it, but what's the word for stubborn? Ein Gespart. It's Ein Gespart. Thank you. Okay, so it has the same root here. Yes. Yeah. But here it's, she's leaning on it. On it. Okay, so what, what's the relationship? It says Ein Gespart. It says that, Ein Gespart. Yeah. No, it says Ein yes. Gespart. Ein Gespart. Yeah. There's a difference okay. on and the, Ein. And What's the, the relations? Yeah, What's the underlying the root, sparen, is to press. And so, uh, um, and from that you can get all sorts of meanings. So, einsparen is to be stubborn, unsparen is to support. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, Morty, I saw that you also raised your hand. Uh, no, I, I, I just wanted to mention that uh, the word uh, midlight has several, uh, several translations. But uh, the Beinfeld translates it as compassion. Compassion, yeah. Like compassion. Empathy, compassion, yeah. Oh, to yeah. suffer with, okay, like to suffer with. No. No, yes, no. Be compassion, no. She no. looked at him, she looked at him with compassion, with empathy. Compassion, but, but life <laughs> is suffering, isn't it? I'm looking at the yes, word. Life. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. Look yes. for so compassion. Compassion so is yeah. compassion. Yeah. Shared suffering. Yes. Shared yeah. suffering, compassion. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I, I thought empathy okay. would be when you're when you're actually feel feeling it. Sympathy. Compassion would be a little, little bit more for from afar. And I, I could be wrong. And what is sympathy? Empathy. Okay, Mari. Uh, let um, Blume go first. Okay, Blume, Brenda. Okay. Um, I looked in uh, Benfield and Bachner. My, Bi my Bible, and it says, share the sorrows of. So okay. I guess compassion would be close, but they actually translated not compassion, but to share the sorrows of. And that's what several people have been saying. Refoyle said that, and other people said that. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Thanks. Marie? Okay, so the trial is over money that he owes her, but really, it's about the fact that he doesn't love her and she's upset about it, but in the end, she's still in love with him because she looks at him with compassion and empathy. Yeah. And she's yes. Beautiful yeah. story. <laughs> well, those are Shun stories. You see why people rent to buy newspapers to see what's going on, what will be the next segment of mm -hmm. the story. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I just the the three stories that I brought here. It starts from, you know, the slow and it will 
get to a crescendo at the end yeah. of life. So it's did she have, was, was her native language German? And that's, is that the reason there's so much German no, in here? No, it's the, it's the fashion of the time that writing in such a way, the, the Deutschmeris was considered to be elevated, more mm. educated because mm. of the German thing. Got Only it. later they clean the language of all the yeah. German writing and influences. Yeah. But and also, this is supposed to be an everyday kind of, you know, not a right, not an elevated writer, but yet her language does seem to be elevated. Ah, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, sorry, it's, no. It's well, like I'm not topic. saying the word, I'm not saying the topic, but I mean, when you we're talking right. about vocabulary that we hadn't seen before, and you said it wasn't Shalom Aleichem. Yeah, so. but but you know the language, uh, it, it's not high Yiddish. It's not high Yiddish. It's but it's it's it means to to reach the, the the common reader, and it's written in such a way that I, I don't know anyone else think something else. I see that Julia is raising her arm. It's it's like a soap opera to me. Yeah, it's exactly it a soap opera. Yeah. probably which beginning is, yeah. of soap opera. Which is why it's so interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Julia wants to say something. Can you all hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, I have really two questions which somebody might understand better than I do. Number one, um, this is an example of Shund literature. Yes. And how, how would that be uh, uh, how, how would that be uh, Disseminated? How, yes. You think, how would this be a, an example of Shund? Why yes, that's exactly what I mean. Excuse me. This, the sensa, this sensa, blah, blah, blah. sensationalism of it. Yeah, the sensationalism of it. The topic of it, you know, and the way that she's writing about it. Mm -hmm. Because you mm -hmm. see, things like this can happen in, in many other stories, but right. the way, you yeah. know, the jury, the way the, the, the contrast, the, the way that she is like uh, confronting him, you know, yeah. and basically, you know, also the way that it's written. Yeah. The way I, that it's written, yeah. the, 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 the crescendo, I don't know, and the, and the topic, those are all shown. If you want to, to read more about Shund, I sent you an example by, uh, a, and it also appears in the weekly, in the weekly newsletter. So it's a very, very good article about Shund literature and what yes. it means to the to the Jewish, mm -hmm. uh, to the Jewish public at, the, at that time. Um, yeah. I have yeah. one other, one other question that I'm sure there are other people who know this better than I do, but <clears throat> I was interested in finding out what, if any, relationship there, there is between Shund and Shanda. Oh yeah, does anyone have a, an answer? Say Shund again. and Shanda? What's the first word? What is the relationship Shund between Shanda. the words Shund and Shanda? No, yes. I heard the first word. That's the shun. Hello. Sounds like a job for Raphael. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm waiting for him to raise his hand. But I wonderful, don't see wonderful. No, we know what shunda is right now, and we know kind of what shanda is, I guess. But Maurice, do you know? Maurice, I cannot hear you. You are not muted, but I cannot hear you. No, still cannot hear you. Okay, what try to fix it. Try to fix it. Maybe, Morty, do you know? I see that refoil is is on but off. So, no, I, I am. I I know what Shande is. Shande is uh, is uh, like like an insult, like something shameful. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Shund is hasn't that that quality of being shameful. Is yeah. is it's more like a prost, 
would be... <laughs> it's better, yeah. My, my, better. my word for yes. describing Shunt. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah, I think they are two diff completely different things. I know, I understand that, but the, la the letters in each one of those words seems very similar. And I wondered if at some point they were related. Uh, it, okay. it is possible. My, my, my Yiddish is not a, a Yiddish from, from learning it. Uh, it's, it's basically from home and, and, and reading. So I, I cannot go into into that discussion that type okay, of discussion. we will maybe we will leave it and we will but, look okay. into we will look into it and next next class maybe we will find an answer. But 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 Shun Thank dealt you. with Shandas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does. Shun dealt with That's, Shandas. I think there is a connection. I never really I never okay. heard that word. Never heard that okay. word. Rachel? Rachel? Is there a word related to Shun that means disaster? Something's in my head that I can't quite pull out. Uh, uh, there is Shadelich. Shadelich no, oh, okay. is not disaster. It's something that is not doing good to you. Right. And what, so, yeah, but it sounds like Shund or it has some relationship mm -hmm. to it. Shund is No, okay. No. Right. Steve? Yeah, I was just going to say, if, uh, for a, a, a sense of what Shund is, at least how I'm understanding it is that's the difference, say, between um, a, a writer looking for, you know, deeper connections to ideas and philosophies. And the this story looks like it could have come from Bintelbrief. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. That's a good comparison. Marie? Yeah, and I want to say the style, I think, is what we would call melodramatic. Right? No, no, I yeah. don't think so. I don't no? think it's melodramatic. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think that, you know, in a melod melodrama, you're looking at real heightened emotions and, you know, things like that. Okay. That, that aren't that really rooted to reality. This is, I think, a simple story about something that you may have read in Bintel Brief about a charlatan, uh, you know, taking advantage of a woman and she not knowing what to do. Um, you know, I think it has. It, it it seems to me to have some genuineness that you wouldn't have in melody. Okay, okay, okay. And I have a question, sort of. Um, that you know, everybody, we're all moaning everybody about uh, having all the German in it. But uh, if they were publishing this kind of stuff in the newspapers, then probably a heck of a lot of the population they were that was the audience was familiar with those words, right? Yes. Even if they yes. didn't use them in English in Yiddish all the time, they would be enough, they would know enough of it to not have a problem, or they wouldn't probably would not have made it so difficult for a common reader. No, no, That's people were, were were familiar with it, you know, because yeah. you know newspaper lived out of this stuff. In the newspaper, some mm -hmm. of them printed three stories like this, you know, in uh, continuing one one day after another or one week after another, some printed two, some printed three, but that was what from what they were living. That's what, that's what sells the newspaper. Was. Yeah, that's what sells, sells <laughs> yeah. the newspaper, not, but, not, but the, they not, wouldn't not the admit, news. They wouldn't have made the language so difficult that the average reader could would have been struggling with it. I mean... For us, it's it's difficult because you know we are not used to this kind of right. Either. We don't well, speak I, German as a second language anymore. Do you know when this was published? It said nine, I, I had a note that it was said nineteen nineteen. I think it's on yes. the cover. Yeah, nineteen nineteen. But that's a, well, remember a it's only been about you know in 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 um, uh, uh, American immigration. You don't start seeing the influx of Eastern European, uh, the influence of Eastern Europeans until well into the 1900s. It's primarily German, German influenced uh, Jewish culture in New York up until, oh. you know, probably 1890s. It's when it starts, but it's at its height in the in the teens and 20 in the early 20s till the uh, immigration laws were passed. So. It makes sense that there would be a lot of Germanic influence in everything that's uh, that's related to Judaism. 
Well, my, know, grand my grandparents came here. Uh, so my mother was born in 1916, and she was born in the United States, and they came here before that. So and into Philadelphia. So right. I mean, we had right. You know, Philadelphia I mean, had a direct port. Right. It begins if the the Eastern European the, the the large immigration of Eastern Europeans into the United States does not really begin until 1890. And then it and then it gets larger and larger. So there are people here from Eastern Europe, but it becomes the the wave of immigrants really starts picking up in the in the in the tens and, and early you know till till about 1920, 21, and 23 when they change the when they pass the uh, restriction laws. But it's okay. just it, it, it reminds me of Netflix with the series and the episodes. <laughs> It's right. the same thing, yeah. With, with, we taught them. We started it. Okay. Uh, you calling me? That? Okay. Yes. So you you know I can't help being in love with, uh, with Benfield and Bachner. So they uh, and um, you um, I had to leave for a minute. So you may have discussed this, but the actual definition um, of shund is literature, theater, art of inferior quality or trashy literature. And when I think of that, from my head, an example, I think of the New Yorker versus People magazine. They both <laughs> okay. serve a purpose. They both serve a purpose. But New Yorker, it's literature. They're writing uh, up-and-coming authors. They're writing about climate change. They're writing articles that are are important or I shouldn't say important but are readable but People Magazine I see it flying off the shelves when I go to Publix people <laughs> love to read um, gotcha. Gotcha. and it's trash it's it's yeah. truly trash but people love to read it so that's how I think of Shun yeah highbrow and lowbrow highbrow and lowbrow and there's a place for both always yeah. I okay. used to read all the Daniel Steele novels mm -hmm. because they were very distracting. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I can't remember a single one because they were all the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but at the time, you wanted to know what's going on. Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Marty? Yeah, I, I, uh, I just it's wanted entertainment. to mention... It's mm entertainment. I just wanted to mention that Shand and Shunde and... and Sh Shund are written differently, so they don't have the yeah. same root. Yeah. Shund is Shin, Vav, Nun, Dalit, and mm -hmm. Shand, where Shande comes from, is Shin, Aleph, Nun, Dalit. Isn't so that's what's going on right now? That's what's yeah. going on right now. You know, I also want to say that, and I haven't read People magazine in, I don't know, 30 <laughs> years. But the last time I read it was a story. Yeah, everybody about says that about when they last read People magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does the same. Uh, I don't care what everybody else says, but that's that's what it is. But I want to say, it, and the reason I read it is there was an article about my cousin. So, you know, it's, it's one thing, you know, somebody's trash is somebody else's treasure. Uh, but, you know, bad things. Bad things happen to good people. I mean, my 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 cousin, who was a law, it was his second cousin, who was a law student, was murdered by her husband. So, and it was in People magazine. And you know, you want to say, well, it was a Shonda, but so this. What I'm getting at is the story about this woman. I mean, these things really happen, and sometimes they happen to people who should know better. Well, how would she know better? Not to marry this guy that he was going to later, you know, commit this heinous crime. So I, I think we, you know, we have to kind of rethink of what we think is 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 trash uh, until it comes close to you. <laughs> That's all I want to say. It's like my mother used to say, "Those are stories from life." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said we. His mice has been labeled. Yeah, we, you know, we, I mean, I'm still shocked by it, you know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, and both, 30 years ago. And the story um, like here, you know, people were swindled, women were swindled in the name of love. So, okay, yeah. Zuli? 
Yeah, I thought it was more like grotesque, shouldn't it? Something very uh, yeah, grotesque that's not uh, exaggerated negatively, you know. That's the way I understood Shunde. Okay, soon. Okay. Okay. Can be. Steve? I was just uh, uh, tacking on to what you were saying. She was certainly swindled by love, but she also yeah. swindled somebody that way as well. Yeah, that's right. You know, remember, she married, point. you know, knowing full well she didn't love this guy. She uh, yeah. She was raised that way, you know, so it's kind of like, you know, you're playing in this sandbox, you're going to get sand on you. You're you good. Know? So it's... Yeah. <laughs> Look at it, we are discussing a Shun story, so there is something underneath. There is something behind it. How many women marry rich guys they don't love? Yeah, that's plenty. true. Yeah, plenty. Okay. How many men marry rich women yeah. they don't love? <laughs> well, so you wouldn't say they swindled them. I wouldn't think they swindled them. They went in well, with their kind of It's kind of swindle. I, I don't know. No. Trophy I'm... wife has a negative connotation. You don't well, say, isn't that wonderful he married his trophy wife? You think of it oh, as yeah. well, a, a negative. See, I no, got you married, think of it as a negative so... thing, not a positive thing. I got married so late in life. My my fr my my prep my uh, my learning wife and my trophy wife had to be the same person. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> okay, guys, do you want to start the new one? No, next week. Yeah. Next week. So I will okay. miss you all next week. I am going to a Hasana, uh, the son of a dear friend of mine, and it's kind of been my highlight looking forward to it so that's wonderful sorry to miss you all yeah it's pretty exciting where is it where's the wedding where's the wedding philly it's in north jersey in rockley oh. new jersey at a very fancy uh hall uh so i so it seems <laughs> but anyway yeah so it's, it's it's going to be quite exciting um she's a a friend that i met in the, in the last couple of years and we became long distance tova study partners except she was studying Torah and I was not interested in Torah so we we just wound up becoming very good friends and uh so but she's orthodox so I'm, I've never met her, any of her family uh she actually lives in Florida even though the wedding's in New York so it's going to be pretty uh pretty exciting going to hopefully. an orthodox wedding and sure yes with, with the long sleeves and with the don't ask covering the knees and yeah, yeah. But it's going to be, I think it's